two particles p and q move on a line of greater slope of a smooth inclined plane the particles start at the same instant and from the same point each with a speed 1.3 meter per second initially p moves down the plane and q moves up the plane the distance between the particles t seconds after they start to move is d meter show that d equals to 2.6 t okay whenever we have okay first of all let's find out certain information let's make sure that we understand what is velocity okay velocity is a scalar vector displacement is also a scalar vector <coughs> okay or scalar quantity meaning um, direction matters okay if you're moving towards right if it's positive uh, 10 meter per second then moving towards left will be negative 10 meter per second okay moving uh, towards right if the distance or di displacement is 10 meters and if you move towards left it is and going back to the starting point it will be negative 10 so make sure you understand that so based on that in this question what they are saying a particle each with a speed of 1.3 one is moving uh, initially p moves down and q whereas q move up so uh, i'll just draw on a straight line if p is moving down this way and q is moving up towards right so towards right is positive towards left will be negative So we have initial u as 1.3 meter per second for this is for q okay this is for q and for p I have u equals to negative 1.3 meter per second because it's moving towards left okay this is for p and if I find what is the distance that it has covered at a certain uh, time period or after a certain second s equals to u t plus half a t square and u here is 1.3 and t will just remain it's at t because um, we are not sure the question just tells you up to t seconds t could be any second and then plus 0.5 a t square so this would be the distance negative so this was would be the distance after certain uh, seconds okay after so many seconds five seconds or whatever all you have to do the distance p um, moved will be s equals to negative 1.3 t plus 0.5 a t square whereas for q we have s equals to since towards right is positive then it will be 1.3 times by t plus 0.5 a t square okay so this will be for direction of q direction of p now the difference between them okay the difference between them will be the distance up to um, t second if q is here and p is here the difference between them will be the distance of q minus distance of p will be the distance or the difference between between them okay so whatever the difference when i subtract as q minus as p that will be the answer for um, after so many seconds so in this case what i can do i can take 1.3 t plus 0.5 a t square minus this with negative 1.3 t plus 0.5 a t square okay when i do that okay so the difference between sq over sp that'll be 1.3 t minus minus which is plus 1.3 t 
and 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 at square minus 0.5 at square which cancels out by itself so the distance between them if i label that as d so d would be 1.3 plus 1.3 which is 2.6 t okay okay when t equals to 2.5 the difference in the vertical height of particle is 1.6 so vertical height is 1.6 and find the acceleration of the particle down the plane so t here is given 2.5 seconds so d equals to 2.5 t so therefore 2.5 times by uh, 2.6 okay d equals 2.6 t so 2.5 times by 2.6 and the answer is 6.5 meter okay 6.5 meter so the distance here is 6.5 meter so now sine theta okay so sine theta equals to 1.6 over 6.5 therefore theta equals to 14.25 uh, or 14.3 degrees okay now what do i want okay the question here find the acceleration of the particle down the plane okay down the plane we have mg it's all the forces okay mg sine theta so therefore mg sine theta equals to ma so i can cancel these two okay g sine theta equals to a 10 times by sine 14.3 equals to a a equals to 2.46 meter per second square okay the distance traveled by p when q is at its highest point okay we have to find what is the time it has taken to reach the highest point okay since the particles moving upward okay so it's going to decelerate okay it's going to decelerate so a will be negative okay a will be negative so we already have our a which is 2.46 or 2.47 okay i'm going to just take 2.46 so negative 2.46 meter per second square okay that's the deceleration so now v equals to u plus a t and i know it's going to stop at some point um, due to deceleration and u is given as 1.3 meter per second and plus deceleration 2 point negative 2.46 okay 2.46 and times by t so let's find out what is our t so 2.46 t equals to uh, 1.3 so t equals to 0 0.5285 seconds so it took 0 0.5285 second for the uh, particle to reach the highest point where it stopped at that point okay so at this stage what is the distance covered by p okay distance covered by p at this stage will be okay um, i'm going to use s equals to ut plus half a t square s equals to u equals to 1.3 and 0 0.5285 seconds plus 1 over 2 acceleration is 2.46 because we are talking about p it's going downward and then multiply by 0 0.5285 square and from here i got s equals to 1.03